And joining me now is Nevada Democratic Congressman Stephen Horsford. He's the chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us here on Meet the Press Now. I want to start with uh, Kamala Harris's economic plans and specifically the issue of inflation. How confident are you that her agenda will lower prices for your constituents in a meaningful way? Well, I commend uh, Vice President Harris because she gets it. Uh, she's been she's lived the experience that so many of my constituents in Nevada live. She's raised by uh, a mom, a working mom in a middle class neighborhood. She understands that people in Nevada and all across the country want to do more than just get by. They want to get ahead, uh, whether that's a good paying job, whether that's the ability uh, to afford rent or buy a home or whether that's uh, affording the, the necessities that we need in our everyday lives that major corporations are preventing us from doing. That's why her plan takes on corporate gouging, holds them accountable, and makes sure that people have more money uh, to cover the essentials in their everyday life. And, Congressman, about um, that... Um on price gouging, her, her policy on price gouging that she recently announced, you know, some critics are saying that that amounts to price controls. What do you say to those critics and also to some Republicans who have been arguing that she hasn't provided enough details about her economic plan so far? Well, first, she's provided a lot of details. Uh, in fact, her plan to address the housing crisis, which is a big issue in my district, by building 3 million homes, by providing $25,000 uh, of assistance for down payment assistance for first time home buyers uh, by providing a child tax credit of $6,000 for families with small children. Uh, Donald Trump has no ideas, he has no plans because he's only a focused on big corporations, the ultra wealthy, mm -hmm. and himself. In fact, his plan, which is really the Trump tax plan, uh, the tariffs would cause a recession, it would drive up costs for middle class families. And it would actually be a greater burden. Uh, uh, and, and, and that is why we cannot move backward with his proposals. We need to move forward with Vice President Harris. And Congressman, you didn't answer the part of the question that I asked about the price gouging, you know, being referred to as price controls, as some Republican critics have alleged. How do you counter that argument? Well, we have to hold corporations accountable. In Nevada, in parts of my district, 30% of homes are owned by corporate landlords. Three companies that own 30% of the market. They are the ones who are pricing out uh, first time home buyers, veterans, and students. And even when they uh, provide those homes for rent, they're gouging renters, uh, charging them much higher rates. That's why I've introduced the Home Act, and it's why I will join with Vice President Harris to take on corporate landlords and market manipulation. Now, there's one policy that uh, issue that's getting a lot of attention in Nevada that's ending, ending taxation on tips. You know, Donald Trump, um, that was Donald Trump's policy initially. Vice President Harris has said it would be hers as well. The Trump campaign accusing her of copying that. What do you make of that? This is about what's in the best interest of workers. Vice President Harris stands with workers. She understands the hospitality workers in Nevada. She's been to Las Vegas seven times this year alone. She's met with them directly. And I uh, join with her in her proposal to raise the wages, to eliminate the sub uh, minimum wage where workers are paid as little as $2.13 in some states and to eliminate the tax on tips because a tip is nothing more than a gift, not a guarantee. That's not something that workers can afford to pay the rent on or to provide uh, a quality life for themselves. But her plan goes further because it's about standing up for workers, something Donald Trump did not do uh, when he ran his businesses or when he was president before. And Congressman, I was talking to this uh, with our reporter Saho earlier. How are her economic policies different than those of President Biden? Is there a significant difference? Absolutely, because uh, the vice president is focused on the American people. Uh, making sure that they receive a tax cut, middle-class families. Uh, her focus is on entrepreneurs and wealth building to help small businesses, not big corporations and the ultra-wealthy. 
Her focus is on bringing down costs, whether that's the mm -hmm. cost of rent, the cost of groceries, or the ch cost of childcare. And she's a proven leader because when she took on Big Pharma, she won, and that's why we now have uh, a cap on insulin at $35 a month, and seniors are not paying more than $2,000 a year. Uh, we've seen already 10 of the highest cost medications finally right. being being negotiated at more than 50% less the cost. And that's right. because Vice President Harris has put the American people first. Donald Trump puts himself first. Turning now quickly, Congressman, to some other policies that she has. You know, back in 2019, she, she said that she wanted to ban fracking. She was also a backer of Medicare, Medicare for All. Now her campaign says she doesn't support those ideas. What do you make of that? Do you think, that, do you have any idea why she, she changed? Well, I've, I'm focused on the issues that the American people are focused on, the people in Nevada's 4th District, and they do want to see the price of health care reduce. But by comparison, Donald Trump and Trump's Project 2025 would eliminate the Affordable Care Act. But he would provide more tax cuts for the very wealthy Congressman. and then provide... <laughs> Re respectfully, I, I asked about uh, Vice President Harris's uh, policies, not Donald Trump's. Point taken, though. One last question before you go. She has yet to take questions in a formal setting, yet to do a sit-down interview. I know her campaign says that that's coming soon. Should she have taken questions sooner? Well, I know the Vice President is open uh, to talk to the media as she's talking to uh, American voters all across the country. She's been to Las Vegas and to Nevada seven times this year. She's focused on meeting the voters because ultimately it's the people that will decide this election. They are the ones with the power and they're the ones who are going to make the choice between two very competing visions for America. Vice President Harris that is about moving us forward or Donald Trump that's about moving the country backward. Congressman. Steve Horsford, thank you so much for joining us here on Meet the Press Now. We really do appreciate it. Thanks for the time. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.